Welcome to another episode of Mock Fishing. In this episode, I'll be on a multi-day camping trip at Kiptipeak State Park in Cape Charles, Virginia. For our first leg of the trip, Paul Goody and I decided to fish the Rudy Inlet before checking into the campsite in the afternoon. Okay, I've launched. I'm in the Rudy Inlet. Just starting to fish. No bites yet. And the water is warm. Uh, it's about 68.8 degrees. So no waders are necessary. A light breeze, but the Rudy is protected. And um, we'll see if we can locate these fish. Hopefully they're out here today. Fish on. See what we have. A little trout. There we go. First trout of the day. Another got something else. Huh. Looks like some kind of blue or something. Oh wait, no Spanish mackerel. Yeah. Yep. since the trout has a very soft lip and the hook can easily break through his lip and uh, the fish can get off. Got another one. Got something here. How you doing? How you doing? Y'all just getting back or you just getting back? Did you find anything? Yeah, a lot of small ones. Trout, two keepers, a couple of bluefish, about 18 inches, and a surprise, I got a um, Spanish mackerel. In, in the end? Yeah. Nice. So that was okay. hit. I'll oh, just put him in. Yeah, take him off the hook and just put it, throw him in here. A good fight. <laughs> yep. Well, they're bled, so at least they probably should be better. Yeah. 
Goody and I checked in at Kipta Peak State Park at 4.30 p.m. There we met Walt and Teddy that were already set up and Jeff was only 15 minutes behind. On Saturday, we decided to launch from the Wise Point boat ramp. The boat ramp is part of the eastern shore of Virginia's National Wildlife Refuge. It costs $10 for us to launch in an honorary system. You just put the money in an envelope and uh, put a tag on in your window. While heading down to the bridge to the right of the ramp at Wise Point, I ran into a pod of dolphins. Wow, that's a big one. Oh, you're a big boy. In and around the bridge, we caught small flounder and bluefish. Also caught a sea mullet. Uh, some folks caught sand perch. I caught a 18 inch rockfish and a bunch of female crabs we were catching. It should be already going. We're sure. cooking some oh, fried bluefish. Yeah, you get like three for five dollars. Just quick for a dollar. Yeah, there you go. Where? Do the last set. This is what we got for there. fish tacos. <coughs> Before we get to the new holiday. Well, I lift it up. I lift it. Yeah, higher. You get thicker shock when you go down. Yeah, that's a good, good shot. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, this is the third day of fishing. We're back to the Rudy Inlet. So, we have four of us going out. There we go, we have Goody down here in the green. We have Jeff inside his vehicle right now. And Teddy on the end. Let's see what their rigs look like. They're all out back. So Teddy, what are you hoping to catch today? I hope I do a whole lot better than I did yesterday. I'm not worried about what I'm gonna catch today. I just hope I can get on. All right. And then here's Jeff. Let's see what he wants to catch today. What are you gunning for? Anything in particular? If it swims, I want it. Okay. And here's Goody, another YouTuber. <laughs> All right, Goody. So. What are you going after today? We are going to try to catch some speckled trout. All right. You going to try to limit out? Yep. Okay. Well, there you got it. I'm going for trout myself and anything else that swims. So let's go. Fish on. Only been out for five minutes. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, that might be a keeper. With higher winds expected, we decided to seek shelter by fishing the canal off of the Wise Point uh, boat ramp. There we would try to drift for flounder. Oh, this thing almost pulled up. Oh, shit! Keep her flounder! Big one! Okay, now we're going into the uh, campsite. We're the second street on the left. Fishing was slow at Wise Point, so we head back to camp to enjoy the campsite. We didn't cook much during the time there because we were too tired from all the fishing, but we did manage to get a grill in or two. Well, and here's our site. I'm on my way home. Fun trip. Caught some fish. A lot of shorts, but I did get some keepers. Keeper trouts, keeper flounders. Some bluefish. And the surprise Spanish mackerel. So that was fun. And now I just found out that in Virginia you can keep uh, female crabs. We caught probably about a bushel of female crabs. We could have had a uh, seafood feast. So anyway, I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.